Hello, it is Monday, February 3rd, I think, and I'm going to do a vlog where um, I show you what I'm wearing throughout the week, but also I have some fun unboxings. So I have a Christy Dawn box right here. I bought the Frankie cardigan, and they had that sale for Christy's birthday, which was 33% off. So keep aging, Christy. That's awesome. <laughs> so I got this. And it comes in one size and it's not returnable. So I will show you what that's all about. There's some beeping. My husband is fixing the smoke alarm. So don't be alarmed. It's going to be fine, I think. And then um, I have the bell top on, which is from Doan's newest release right now. And then I have two more tops coming from them. This week, the Arabella, I found, I found one. And it was all sold out like almost immediately. And then um, I have the uh, Sahara, which is the plaid top. And it has a dress version, which I had, but I exchanged because it just wasn't me. I'll show you pictures at some point, maybe on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I'll, I might talk about it more throughout the week as I receive it. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. This is the bell top from Dylan. I'll take it off, I think, because I want to talk about a lot of the um, details. And it's easier to show when it's like hanging on the hanger right here. So anyway, this is silk. Um, it's yellow. It has like this golden yellow material. Oh, and I'll show you the other seasons yellow because they had a very similar pattern that came out in summer. And I'll compare because I have a top from that too. So anyway, this is silk. It has this really gorgeous collar which has pleating all around it. And then it, I love this top tucked in, tucked in and untucked. So you can see that it has this darting here, which brings in the bottom a little bit and then bring makes this be a little bit more like blousy. And then the the same thing, the effect happens in the back too. Again, it's hard to show um, this way, but um, yeah, I really love it. And then I'll show you what it looks like um, tucked in. Let me just do like a quick half tuck. In the meantime, these are my Gap cigarette jeans that I'm wearing and then I, yeah, obsessed with it if you saw my last one. So anyway, this is it, untucked. This is so cute. This is a size small. I think it could have done a medium in this one, but I think this is just so sweet. I've worn this top maybe three times since I've gotten it. Um, I like wearing it around my kids too. It's actually really kid friendly because it's printed. Um, and even though it's silk, like I find anything that has a print on it is really pretty like kid friendly. So this is it. And then I have my um, palm that I'm wearing with it. And then my, I've been wearing my cowboy boots with it and I'll show you what that looks like. And this is the palm with it. This palm sweater is just the best buy ever. It goes with absolutely everything that I have and that I get from Joanne. I love it, it's so comfortable. And then these are my Ghani boots that you saw last time. So it's nice and dry, the snow melted. We're getting more snow on Wednesday, I think. So I'm gonna wear these while I can. And yeah, it's been good. But anyway, let me take off this top and I will show you the details. So the bell top, this is the top from summer. I forgot what it's called. It's like the top half of the sonnet actually, which is really funny, which is right behind it. Um, yeah, that is funny. And then, yeah, so you can see, you can see the difference in the print here. So this one is just a little bit more gray yellow and this one is brighter. Sorry, that's Snickers. <laughs> uh, Snickers, when the beeping happens in, in any form, like whether it's like I guess it's the smoke detector. Whenever the smoke detector goes off, Snickers gets really nervous. So he's just scratching at my door like, let me in. <laughs> Sweet dog. Anyway, this is, uh, yeah, the comparison. So you can see the difference in like the print and stuff. This is this is a lot more delicate, has a little bit more fine um, detail when it comes to the illustration. But yeah, just in case you're wondering, that's the difference. But um, so, this is silk, like I said. So what they had is they had a Charleston in this, and what they released last year in cotton, and so they just released a Charleston in silk. So this is like the updated version. Everyone loved the Charleston in cotton, and then the silk is, yeah, just the newest version. So you can see with the style of this, the darts here, which make the bottom go in, and then it makes it more of like a blousy shape, which I think is so pretty. The, last, the um, sleeve is not elastic, they have the bicep measurements on these now, so you can look that up um, from the medium size. This is, again, a small, and then this is like the really pretty pleated collar. It's so gorgeous. And then they have some pleats 
And I think there's a hidden dart in here, if you can see that. They have a hidden dart in the um, gathering there. So very pretty, slightly puffed sleeve. Gorgeous, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. The Belk originally came in like a white and then I think they might have another version coming or I think there's something similar coming called the Blythe or Blair. It's in the same um, listing as the Myrtle overalls. So to go take a look at that, you can see that right now. But this is a very versatile top. This is one of the only, like one of the most versatile tops I own from Duan because I don't like a lot of them untucked um, That because that's just how I style my tops. So I love this one, tucked, untucked. And then I think you can just like tie a little ribbon. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing the weather. Tie a little ribbon right here and it would just be very sweet and buttoned all the way up. So um, very versatile, highly recommend. I think it's beautiful. All right, I have this guy back on again and I will um, do my unboxing now. All right, so this is the Christy Dawn Frankie cardigan. It only comes in one size and it's made of recycled cashmere. And Christy Dawn is the best. I just love that company. So I got the gray color, which looks a lot less hairy than um, the other colors, which I preferred. And this is it here. This is actually more of a taupe, I would say. Um, yeah, very pretty. I have a friend who has this. Let me see if it says what it's made of here. 31% cashmere, 16% mohair, 31% llama, and 22% nylon made in the USA, made in California. So this is really pretty. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I'm used to, my mesa is lighter, but also thicker. That's because it's hand knit. So I will show you what this looks like. I think this will be okay with this. We'll see. So here is the Frankie. And it's cute. I took, I changed my um, top. I didn't like it with the yellow bell. So this is the, the Henry in the picnic plaid, which is one of my favorite tops ever from Doan. Um, hopefully they do more Henrys. I didn't see any signs of a Henry or a Rose um, for the upcoming season, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, this is nice. It has like, it has these really blouse and sleeves, which I like. Um, which, what attracted me to the cardigan in the first place. But you know what? It, it's not gray. I'm kind of annoyed slash disappointed that it's not gray. And let me show you how it is compared to my Mesa. So this is my Mesa one from Doan. And they're pretty different um, in terms of style. But like they're uh, just a very similar color. This is just like a darker version. So this is not gray. Um, just in case you're interested in it, it's not a true gray, which is funny. Um, I'll show you my Mesa actually in compar comparison to this. This one is shorter than the Mesa. This one has clean lines. It doesn't have um, buttons or pockets. I love pockets. I'm, I will always love a pocket, but um, this is actually a really nice layering sweater. And I think a little bit more appropriate for work. So if you wanted something to throw on over top of like um, your professional outfit, I think this is, an, or for if you're a teacher, I think this would work too. And um, they have it styled over top of like a white Christy Dawn dress um, in the listing, which is beautiful. So there's a lot of styling options available, but yeah, let me show you the Mesa just so you can compare. It's really pretty, but yeah, not great. And then this is the Mesa in the extra small. So the Frankie comes in one size and then this is the extra small. So yeah, you can see the differences obviously from wearing this, but this I wear every morning over top of my nightgown. It has pockets in it. Um, it's just like co cozy, comfy. Whenever I eat, I cover up my nightgown. So eggs spill on this, not on <laughs> my, my nice doan nightgowns, but even though this is like a nice doan sweater, so um, you don't win. But yeah, that's how this looks with uh, in comparison to the Frankie, just in case you're wondering. I need to shave this guy. I wear it so often. It's probably one of my most worn cardigans or sweaters this um, season. So that's Monday. I will see you tomorrow. And I don't think the Arabella or the one will be here tomorrow, but it'll be here next day. The Sahara. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Um, but they will be here probably on Wednesday for sure. So I will see you tomorrow with some uh, a new outfit and then I will see you throughout the week with some new stuff. Good morning, everyone. Morning. It's probably afternoon by now. I never got that right. 
Um, it is Wednesday. I skipped a day because, well, I didn't. My footage got lost somehow. So I'm wearing the same thing anyway. So uh, two for one slash I picked up a couple more things, including something else that um, I initially wanted. And I'll show you that right away. But let me get started with the pretty, pretty Arabella. So yesterday I was going to unbox this with you um, and I was too impatient. So I just opened it up and I love it. So I got this in a medium. Uh, this comes in uh, kids sizes. So, so there's like, it's like this only like kids dress in black and white. And then it comes in um, two dresses called the Marina, which has like this really gorgeous detail um, right here on the waist. And then it has a tie. And I initially got the black Marina because I wanted this one, but they're actually really expensive. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just go for it and get the dress. And I thought the black would be a little bit more subtle because I saw influencers wear the white and I thought the white was really bright and I was like okay maybe that'll be too much but opposite so what happened was I got the black one and I'll show you a picture because I didn't film it but um it was just too much so it was just too much of this um fabric which is really pretty but the white and the black look so different with this green in here so the black makes it look way more vibrant than it is and the white is more subtle which I thought it would do the opposite and this green just I just don't like it with the black so I returned the dress and yeah keeping keeping the top so I want to see if I can show you so it looks like to me the fabric the green stitching in the zigzag looks different from the green in the um, petals or the leaves I'm not sure if that's true if I'm crazy but I feel like it's two different kinds and that's that's fine. I'm just noticing details and telling you all what I think about this green color, <laughs> which somehow bothers me with the black, but um, it's an expensive top. So it's worth noting the details. This is all embroidered. It's so beautiful. I hope you can really get a good glimpse of how gorgeous this is. Let me show you the other side. Oop. So very 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 pretty so this is how it looks untucked which i don't usually wear i wore this top yesterday as soon as i got it which was at 11 a.m after the gym so i was like it was what i wore and then i wore it with my old ugly jeans zara jeans because these ones are in the wash yes i do wash these jeans i promise um so it like the the jeans threw off the outfit so i wasn't sure how much i liked this or the other top but i really like this and then i took the tags off this morning and it's wonderful like it's so cute um i wore it to my little daughter's kindergarten day she's gonna start kindergarten next year and i thought it was great um very friendly very like fun because it's like rainbowy and i will show you um what it looks like uh tucked in and this is the arabella tucked in so like i said i got a medium i'm usually in blousy items and extra small i'm still a little bit bigger than i was before um having kit I'm about size um, four to six now, depending on the top. I used to be a two to four. So, um, so things are slowly changing. But what I really wanted in this look was just looser sleeves. I really loved how long and loose they look on Alex, the model. And my friend got the extra small, because she's normally an extra small. And the sleeves are smaller and tighter than she anticipated. And I think I have another friend who's normally an extra small, and it was smaller than she anticipated. So I think their extra small size changed. So that's something to note. Um, yeah, I would go up a size in this because I think it's lovely and I don't think it's any more voluminous than, uh, like, I'm not bothered by the extra volume that there is, partially because it's sheer and that's what I like so much about doing stuff. But yeah, love it. So this is um, the Arabella. Love it in a medium. It's really pretty. I'm wearing vintage um, locket and then this has a K on it. This was local. This is a K local from White Elephant, which is on James North. Um, and it comes in silver and a rose gold. So if you're local, check that out. I think it was only about $30. So it's really affordable. It's a nice like gift um, for yourself if you're like me <laughs> or for someone else. And then this is just like a vintage locket with a pearl in it. Not locket, but vintage pendant with a pearl in it that I like. But yeah, here's a good shot of the stitching. Let me go to the window so you can get a good look at the color. It is so pretty, like so pretty. I absolutely love it. It is sheer. I'm wearing a new cami underneath it. Um, if I was wearing white, you could see it. So you would be able to see um, any other color bra on it. And then these I'm just wearing around the house because they're fun. And I'll show you what it looks like with the lodge 
nightgown, which is right there. Yep, new edition, last minute <laughs> purchase because I wasn't happy with the Sahara, which I will show you now. But um, anyway, these are the Doan Pink um, Ballerina Flats. I love pink so much. It's like a pink copper, I think it's called. I Today I wore my cowboy boots because it wasn't snowing. So I, yeah, wore those out and you've seen those already. So um, yeah, this is a very nice comfy outfit and I'll show you the Sahara and I'll show you the lodge. So I tried the Sahara on yesterday and my hair was in a ponytail I didn't have any makeup on and I was like I, and I was wearing those jeans that I hated so and now I'm wearing this and I'm like oh I actually kind of like this <laughs> oh no I was gonna return this because um I just wasn't a fan of it but this is cute this is the Sahara and a medium they tell you in the listing to go up size so I did and a medium the medium of the bust is the same as the medium on the dress which I had which I will show you a picture of the style just wasn't me um and it was just a little too short um to be comfortable around children I want to be able to sit in a dress and be okay with like changing a diaper so and I wasn't really in that so now now I have this and now I have the lodge and I will show you which one and now I'm conflicted because I think this looks cute shoot but um let me show you the close-up of the fabric so this is the fabric it has this gorgeous blue and pink in it and it's like a light brown and I, when I got the it's so soft. So when I got the Cadiz dress, I was like, I have to get something in this fabric because it's amazing. And the Cadiz dress wasn't for me. This I didn't think was for me. So now I'm conflicted. And then the lodge was my actually original one that I wanted, but then it didn't come with a tie, which I'm like, that's kind of funny. Cause I thought like, it looks like it should come with a tie. Like it's considered a nightgown and a lot of the nightgowns don't come with a tie except for the vet, which is coming up, which is in a cotton poplin that's coming with a tie. So I was like, that should come with a tie. I've said a tie a lot too many times, but I mean, this is it. This is cute. I don't know what to do now. Um, yeah, let me show you the lodge and we'll, I'll see how I feel about them here. Let's, let me show you what this looks like untucked. Cute. I'm five, three. My body is the longer part of me. <laughs> I'm almost average five, four, but I have, yeah, short legs. So, um, yeah, longer body. So this is nice. This is a nice length. I think the Arabella is actually a little bit short, so I would size up for the length and for the elastic around the arms, which I think is a little tight. I th I'm glad I didn't get the small because the small, I think would have been uncomfortable. So um, yeah, this is nice. Good, good move, good um, room in the, uh, what's it called? Bicep. And the dress version has, sorry, my light. The dress version has longer sleeves. So then the Cadiz, the Cadiz has longer sleeves. The Sahara has shorter sleeves. So you can see that is the difference. Okay, let me try on the lodge. And this is the pretty lodge. So what I really love so much about this and what I initially wanted, why I initially wanted this was because of the um, stitching up here, which is pink and blue. I'll show you a close up in just a minute in front of the window. But otherwise, this is just a really lovely um, nightgown. So this is, yeah, considered a nightgown. It's not very sheer. So I would definitely wear this as a dress instead because I have so many nightgowns. That's the slate. I have one from Sleeper. I have these guys. I have the short, the Chateau and the Solaris from Doan, which I love. Um, so I don't really need another nightgown, but I just love this fabric so much. And I think this is so pretty up here. Let me show you. Like it's gorgeous. Look at how... Look at the stitching on this. So this is elastic. It's smocked. Um, and I just, I love something with this pink. The other dress they have is the Arbor that's coming. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't really like smocking, too much smocking on here. I tried the Lita, which I didn't like as much because I had so much smocking on the bodice. And I didn't think that was flattering on me. Um, so I'm not sure if the Arbor would even look good. Um, yeah, let me show you how I thought looks good styling this I thought looks, I think this looks good with like a crop leather jacket and a sweater this is the lodge nightgown um styled with just a cropped leather it's not real leather this is like a fake leather cropped jacket I got from Zara like honestly six years ago and it's in great shape but I love I love the structure that the coat adds to this dress and I think it just looks very nice um it's very comfortable, very like city. So depending on where you're from, like the plaid is obviously very casual and very like 
like it's very nightgowny and um like boho you know etc you know the words <laughs> but um yeah so i really love how this is styled and yeah it's very comfortable very soft i love this fabric and then let me show you what it looks like with um a sweater and then this is uh just a pink jumper from Cezanne. i forget the name of it i got it when i was in new york i'll link that video up here um but it was i was just having it in my hand wash pile so excuse the the wrinkles but i think this looks cute this is a cute outfit it's really comfy <laughs> minus the wrinkles and then i have the, like the necklace to um just have like the, kind of a long line right here which i think is flattering and then you can always like belt put a belt underneath and then tuck your sweater into that to make it a little bit shorter but yeah that's another outfit option <sighs> Um, sorry, I was distracted by my own bras, which I just have hanging there for everyone to see. <laughs> Yesterday, I took them down for the video. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, anyway, so this is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. In front of the window color. You can see that it's gorgeous. But I'm not sure which one to keep now. Hello, good afternoon. Got oh, so <laughs> Oh, I hate this thing. One sec. <laughs> Automatic lights are great and annoying at the same time. So, uh, anyway, I will show you what I'm wearing today and the decision I made of which plaid piece to keep. The Sahara. So I'm wearing the Sahara with the Christy Dawn um, sweater. It's really growing on me. It's really comfortable. At first, the sleeves were a little bit itchy, um, but I think it had that Cezanne effect. Sometimes Cezanne sweaters are a little bit um, pokey, I think, because the wool's in it. And then it just relaxes after a while. So that's where I'm at. And um, yeah, those my trusty old Gap jeans and this top, which, yeah, like I told you yesterday, I like a lot better because um, with like my hair done and jeans on. I think when you're trying stuff on, you should try just do it over a couple days because it just really depends on your mood and how you style it. So let me show you what it looks like without the cardigan, which you've seen, but here we go. And here it is without the cardigan on. This room is really warm. I have a vent right there. And that cardigan is really warm, so <sighs> that's actually, it feels good to have that off. So yeah, again, this is a size medium. It's really comfy. Um, I told you in the footage that I got lost, but I'll tell you again that this is what I have for short sleeved blouses for the whole summer. This is all long sleeve. <laughs> and then I have shorter dresses. Um, I cleaned the closet the other day too. Um, so I got a good sense. I knew that I had a hole, um, in this like the short sleeve because last year I was pregnant and I just had dresses. So, um, anyway, this is a good idea for me. This hair is a good idea for me. So saying that I pre-ordered the Arbor because I think it's so beautiful and I was, I've been worried because I tried on the Lita and I didn't like the ruching around my body. Um, but then I tried on my basil backwards <laughs> to see what that would look like. And I think it's just the Lita, the shape of it, the whole thing I didn't like. So, um, yeah, let me show you the basil that I got a while ago. This is the Christy Dawn basil. So this is like the smocking that the, the Arbor is going to have. And so I tried it on backwards, which is longer. So I won't show that to you now, but um, this is a very, very pretty dress. I really wanted the, I wanted the basil style for a long time. And then this was on sale and I think it's just beautiful. It says it's cotton on the listing, but I don't think that's true. I think it's like a cotton rayon blend or cotton viscose blend. You can see when it, how it moves that it's not cotton. So that was a, uh, a silly thing that they said, but they, they don't know for sure, but yeah, goodbye Lodge. You're very pretty, um, but you need a tie. <laughs> Ultimately, the story is Doen should have made it with a tie or something else with it. It is an icon, so who am I? Who am I to say? That's just my, that's just my opinion, but it's very pretty and I'm excited to get this fabric in the arbor because it's so beautiful, etc. So anyway, this video has been so long. I started editing it yesterday. And it's like 20 minutes and it's like four days. I'm into the fourth day. So I'm going to end this here and I will see you tomorrow if I have time tonight um, to vlog my um, day night outfit. I will do that. Otherwise, I'll show you that tomorrow too. All right.
Okay, it is the end of our date night, and this is what I'm wearing. You can probably hear sound machines, and I'm not going to talk too loudly. But, um, yeah, this is the grass, I think it's grass dress. I get mixed up because there's a thistle. I think the thistle is the top version of this, and then the grass is the dress. So, this is actually really old. Don't worry, I had, like, boots on, so this is, like, a nice, more seamless look. But this is, like, from like one of their like, like spring 2017 or 16 and it is the most beautiful fabric it is um was cotton in viscose mix but like the pattern is beautiful and this dress is like lovely so it's it has the buttons here you can actually do them up and then it has this empire waist which is fixed and then it has a drawstring here which you can bring in if you want i leave it loose and then the Sleeves are elastic. So it could be very um, full, or you can um, pull it up to just be a little bit more manageable, which I like to do, especially when I'm eating, because we had a lot of food <laughs> tonight. It was really lovely. And then I have my, these are my Majuri earrings, the croissant, part of their croissant French collection. And yeah, I really love them. And then that was it. That was all my jewelry for the night. And that's it. That is what I wore tonight. I will see you tomorrow with my last outfit of the week. Okay, long time no see. It has been a week, week and a half since um, um, my last vlog entry. And that's because my back went out. <laughs> my back went out on the Friday. So I think I, the last thing I should do was my day night outfit and then my back went out Friday morning and that just kind of stopped absolutely everything. Um, I'm fine now. I had physio and have rested and I'm like back at the gym. So I'm like, okay, I feel back to, um, back in order. Everything's back in order. So anyway, I'm going to finish this block thing. Thank you so much for those who are being patient and have not unsubscribed from my channel yet, but life is just, um, yeah, bananas right now. But I have two new things, you can see one in the background, to show you since I talked to you last. And yeah, one of them is pretty crazy, so I would love your opinion, even though I took the tags off, so I would love a nice opinion. <laughs> I'll show you. So what I'm wearing today is the Billy from uh, Doen. I love this top so much. I love it in a print. So anything plaid from Doen is always super soft, and it's something that I always go and grab. Um, in colder weather, it's February, so this is something just like really soft. Every plaid, you can't go wrong with any of their plaids. I got their new one in the, not the Cadiz dress, but the top version. And I just love it, and I also ordered the Arbor dress. So, and that changed, the date changed on that, so it's not mid-March anymore. The pre-order, it's um, early March. So, just in case you're interested in that, that looks like it's coming sooner. And then, yeah, boring uh, gap jeans, but then, bam. So... I'm on board with this chunky, chunky boot trend, even though, I don't know, I don't know how to do my jeans with some of this stuff. So anyway, I love these. I'm influenced, obviously, by the, the Prada ones that are so popular, but these are Doc Martens. So they do not look good from top view. Look very clunky. But um, I love them because they have such um, a thin ankle. So I think they're pretty flattering because they come in at such a nice point on my leg. And then, yeah, I just had to figure out how to wear my jeans with it. Wes thinks I look goth. <laughs> but, um, oh, well, I, I like them. I think they're very trendy. I think they're, like, um, good quality. Like I said, they're Doc Martens. And I think they go with everything. I have a lot of outfits planned. Kit is um, just out with my sister. And he is ready to have a nap. So I'm going to make this quick, I promise. But anyway, yeah, I love these. These are the Quad Chelsea. There is a break-in period, so they hurt my feet right now, um, especially at the very top of the, um, here, because this is like a shiny leather, which is also another thing that I really love. People who I've been influenced by with this trend is like Brittany Bathgate, who I'll link below, and then We The People Style. I'm not sure who, what her name is, but I'll link that account below too, because she wears these. She was the Prada version with everything, and I think these are just awesome. And I think they're going to be in style, like the platform sandals you'll see this summer. I think that's going to be a big trend, and then so far into um, the fall. So, I was also reading this article from the Frugality 
Um, I forget her name. Her daughter's name is Peggy. I don't know why I forget her name. But um, she was reading about, she was writing about um, chunky boots and whether to buy them. Are they like something to, um, is that a trend that's going to stick around? And so she thinks so because they're comfortable and flat. And I'm like, okay, well, I think that's a good reason. But I think also because you can see the platform into um, fall. So that's why I'm doing it. So anyway, I'll show you this coat too. This is from Shop Bop. My boots are from Shop Bop too. These are actually sold out. Like Urban Outfitters has them in white and burgundy and black, and they're sold out most places, um, except for Shop Bob. And then the this is from Shop Bob too. So I really wanted to do the shacket trend, but I didn't want to do anything too boxy or big. And I'll show you what this looks like on. I was really inspired by Isabel Morant's version. I like her plaid a little bit better. This is it's a little bit more interesting, but yeah, I'll show you what this looks like on. This looks a lot better now. I was trying it on the other day and I didn't have like makeup on or my hair done. And that just makes such a difference for some reason, especially like with trends that are a little bit more masculine, something that I'm trying out. The other thing is, is like my husband has a shirt like this. And so I was kind of unsure about this plaid in general. This style is very like where I live. Um, people love their blend stones, their chunky boots, and then everyone wears plaid. I'm not sure if that's a Canadian thing or like a Northern States thing. I know everyone in Michigan wears plaid because that's where my sister-in-law is from, but um, this is where it lives. But yeah, this is it. I love this paired with like a white dress, like something very different that has like a high contrast to this. But this is like a wool blend. It's very soft and I really like the pocket. So yeah, this looks a lot better on me right now. I do wish it could go with something a little bit more delicate to make it more interesting. And the cuffs are a chambray, which you can see. And this is on sale right now. So I'll link this below too, just in case you're looking for this trend as well. Um, I really like the side detail. This is one thing that I love about this this kind of coat. And I'll link the Isabel Morant one too because Matches Fashion has um, the updated version of it, I think. Netta Porte does too, but matches fashion, I think, is it just has more versions of it. But then, anyway, I like this like um, side seam detail that you see on shirts traditionally, so I think that's really flattering. So you can see more leg. But that's it. We'll see if I wear this for the day, but this is something new. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it yet. Let me know what you think. I think it's I think it's cool. I'm just unsure about like the plaid detail, and that's because of where I live. I feel like I talk too fast and I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, that's it for this vlog. I'm sorry it took so long to make, um, but I got some new stuff. So hopefully it was interesting to you. Let me know your opinions on these items and I will see you next time. I think my next vlog, I'm gonna show you this um, these dresses or these outfits from this company that sent them for, to me. It was really fun, like blogger mail. So I will uh, show you that next. And yeah, I'll see you around. Have a good weekend.